Wednesday and I usually donate a painting and they like the one with the book like this. <laughs> and they tell you only send us this one. <laughs> no. <laughs> so for this one you want to start with um, the canvas that's fully covered. And so also so that you can have your paint go a long way. This is just a kitchen uh -huh. staff, offset spatula to help spread the paint. I'll use it. And you can, can you do white or you can pick any color you start with? Um, depends on what you want your background to be. Oh, okay. So okay. typically, I like white because it helps the colors pop out, but you certainly can use any color you want, depending on the palette. Um, yeah, that makes sense. You want there to be enough paint so that it's covered and so that there's some movement as well. Right. <coughs> and you see how there are like bubbles there? Mm -hmm. I just want to get rid of them. Has disappeared. Yes. Um, okay. So let's go through a mix. Maybe we will do silicone and not silicone, but we'll start with. So for this technique, you want to use not a huge color palette, so pick like two to three colors that you want to play with, and then maybe a metallic. So I like to use gold um, in my paintings a lot. So I'm going to go with the purple, the yellow, and okay, you guys pick the third color. Um, the blue. The blue? Yeah. All right. The blue blue or the turquoise? The blue blue. blue, blue. blue. Okay. <laughs> Ultramarine. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. So, let's do just going to do circles. And you want to be careful to watch for the drips. We'll start with these different sizes. Four in the middle. Ah. Another circle. Another circle. You can tell you're a scientist, ma'am. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> the gold. No. Oh, wow. And then maybe we'll start with the gold on this next batch. Oh, then like you oh, what, reverse the colors or something? You can choose any order you'd like. So we can do gold, purple. Can I ask what you use for medium? You probably already told me. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, flow draw? Yeah, you can find it at Lowe's. Yeah. <laughs> flow draw, and then I'll mix that with the paint and um, add a little bit of water, depending on um, to control the viscosity. Can you use silicone? I use, I, I do and I don't, depending on the technique, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And my silicone that I yeah. like is hair serum. Right. Oh, okay. You can buy it at any... So you don't buy silicone alone, it's inside of the, one of the Yeah, this is the, silicone is the main ingredient in this. This one worked well for me. I also experimented with some people, like I said, uh, treadmill lubricant has silicone in it, but that didn't do it for me. This smells nice, too. Yeah. Hmm. Coconut milk. Oh, coconut milk. Yeah. Okay. 
circles inside circles. Yep. So now, <laughs> oh, this I gotta see. <laughs> oh, that ends me. I can't blow into a balloon. <laughs> oh my god. I can't. I should have pre that. We gotta stretch them. Oh. <clears throat> no, I literally can't blow into a balloon. So I wouldn't be able to use a um, tire pump. You know, like a. Yeah. I don't have any little either. Like or don't they have like a key? I would have been like a baseball or something. Like a ball, you know, kids ball or something. I want to see what she does with it. Yeah. No, I'm not going to pop this one. No, I'm not going to pop this one. So how do I get this out? Okay. So then, um, you don't have to blow it all the way. Just so it's a little stretchy. So then you're just, this is called a balloon kiss. So some people do this technique in their paintings after for an added effect. Um, but this is, so you just, I'll do it with the one in the middle first, because it's just. Or just, after like one of my grandkids' birthday parties, I'll confiscate some balloons. Press it in, just give it some, pull it out. Yeah. And then I'll just start oh, developing and we'll see different oh, things come up. And the balloons look really pretty after, so yeah. sometimes oh, the balloons. Oh, oh, that's okay. Oh. We'll just Maybe you created out. something. Yeah. A different effect. <laughs> So you do, oh, so you would do the same yeah. spot. Yeah. Wow. Same spot, a different spot. <laughs> the balloon looks good. I pushed a little. <laughs> yeah, the balloon's always like really nice. You could frame the balloon. So you could, oh yeah. Print another canvas. Or, or peel it. So yeah. after a grandkid's birthday party, I can bring balloons yes. home and then do this. So you wouldn't pick that back into the paint. You right? can? We totally can. Have yeah, you have you ever done that and then put it on a dry board? I have not, but we can. Go for it. <laughs> yeah, let's try it. That would be like print. Oh, yeah, wow. that, that looks like cool. Print. Yeah, yeah. Good then we'll we'll print, print it. it. Yeah, it looks really nice. But yeah, you could totally. I mean, that's yeah. the point is you can do anything. Yeah, yeah. 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 You, you don't but know you can try it. it. So yeah. these paints did not have silicone, but we still have cells. Popping up because of yeah. the photol and the way the balloon sort of like pushed into that. I like the, the, the paint. design on the balloon. <laughs> yeah. So funny. Wow. But it gave a nice effect. Yeah. yeah. So it's been very simple. Yeah, and that's the transfer from the balloon. Wow. And so I pushed a little really? hard.